the James Madison Dukes. Kurt Signetti is the head coach, went 12-2 and in FCS last year. This will be their first year in the FBS. You look at the returning production, this was not the ideal season for them to jump into FBS. I will say that. Uh, number 97 in returning production, that's 56%. Number 76 on offense, number 106 on defense. Roster strength, yeah, it ain't there. It ain't there. Number 124 when it comes to recruiting, experience, etc. That's certainly not good. Number 106 on offense, number 130 on defense. That's via the guys over at CFB Winning Edge, uh, Nick and those guys. I Let's talk about the offense first. Kurt Signetti built a ton of depth, already basically had an FBS-level offense. Three returning offensive linemen, average six foot four, 318 pounds, but your quarterback, your running back, and all but one wide receiver are gone. So you've got the offensive line that could theoretically compete in the FBS. Of course, you're competing in this division, which I believe is the best division in all of the G5. I mean, this... This lineup of teams is just absurd. You got great coaches, you got great talent, you got I mean, this is this is a murderer's row for any of these teams. So this is really, really difficult. Uh the Colorado State quarterback Todd Centio transferred in along with the running back AJ Davis out of Pitt. And they brought in wide receiver uh Kobe White from Boston College. Those guys should help, right? They've been around the block, they know what they're doing, they should help, and there there's talent there. Uh, but again, it's not experience. It's not experience in this system, et cetera. I, I do trust Kurt Signetti. I, I think he's a really, really good coach. Remember, JMU was the number two in FCS for a decade. I mean, a long, long time. Uh, Mike Houston, who was the or who is the head coach at East Carolina and has done a pretty good job with the Pirates over the last three years, he was JMU's coach. Kurt Signetti kept that ball rolling. Can he keep the ball rolling as they move into FBS on the defense? There are studs on the defensive line and in the secondary. Linebacker looks weak talent-wise, I suppose. But again, we'll see. If you're well-coached, it doesn't necessarily matter what your talent rating was, what your recruiting ranking was. Chris and I talk about this all the time. Uh, was This team was number five in yards per rush allowed in FCS. They were number seven in scoring defense, number two in tackles for loss, number one in turnovers forced, But how does that translate, again, to the best division in the G5? How does that translate? We understand what it's like in FCS, but they just overwhelmed everybody. Everybody in FCS, aside from North Dakota State, I suppose. Uh, I got no idea what to expect here. Uh, This is a strange one because you know how good this team has been, but this is a whole new level of class in this division. They have been incredibly well coached, but again, what does the... What does it look like? How does it translate? They can't bowl this year, uh, but I am interested in what they look like. I'm really interested in what they look like this year. I have them going five and six. If you're going to have a losing season, it's probably the year to do it. Again, in that transition year, they only scheduled 11 games. They might look for an FCS team to play in week three or, uh, or on Halloween weekend, somewhere around there, just to get up to 12. But as of right now, yeah, you know, why? You're not going bowling anyway. What does it matter? So, uh, very curious. Kurt Signetti, I think, is a, a fine, fine coach. I think he's going to do good things. It just may take a little while to get acclimated to the Sun Belt and, and playing in FBS. They, they don't have a ton of... Looking at their schedule, by the way, uh, they open Middle, Middle Tennessee. They got Norfolk State. Let's see, at App State, Texas State. Uh, they do play at Louisville. That is uh, one of their non-cons. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see what ends up happening here. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter, at GaryWCE, at ChrisBGiannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com, or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.